Hey boys and girls. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about um, parts of speech. And I know that we've done parts of speech in the past, but I think it would be a good thing to review this time of the year. So I have this kind of cool parts of speech web and there's a blank one for you to fill out with me if you would like. And then there's also a colored one too if you would like to just use that to help refer back to. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the noun because that's one kind of like the first one that you ever really talk about when you learn parts of speech. And we know that a noun is, what is it? It's a person, place, thing, or idea. So we have that, we know what it is. Then we have um, some examples. So anything can be an example. We can say um, a flower, or that's a thing, or we can say like a place, which is like the zoo. So we have noun. That should be pretty easy because, you know, nouns, again, like I said, it's one of the first things that you, we talk about. One of the other ones that you talk about that's a very um, easy one that you learn early on in, in school is a verb. Oh, I'm gonna pick a different marker because that one isn't working very well. So a verb. And a verb is your action, action word. So any of those words that tell you what something is doing. So it is an action word. And that could be anything like run, jump, giggle, scream, skip, all of those. So we're going to use the word laugh and climb because those are both really good examples of an, an a verb or an action word. Next one we're gonna talk about are um, adjectives. And adjective is a word that describes your noun. So in our what is it, it describes a noun. So these are your words that tell about something. So if I say I have a, a shirt on, my shirt is my noun, but if I want to describe it, I might say it's a black shirt. Or if I'm talking about maybe my a cat, which is a noun, I might say my cat is furry and orange. I have a furry orange cat. So furry and orange are both my adjectives are describing the cat. So for these adjectives, um, we're gonna use the word dangerous. And we're gonna use the word colorful because that reminds us that colors are also good words to use when you're talking about adjectives. So next up, we're gonna keep moving along here are we're going to use, um, we're gonna talk about adverbs. And an adverb, what is it? It uh, describes a noun. So just like an adjective describes, or I'm sorry, describes a verb. Oh my gosh. Just like an adjective describes a noun, an adverb describes a verb. And these are these ones that kind of sometimes will end in the L-Y. So how somebody did something. Did they, did, it, did they do it quickly, slowly, loudly? Um, let's see. Think of other L-Y ver verbs or um, adjectives to describe verbs. So how they did, did you like, did they kick the ball slowly? Did they kick the ball quickly? Did they run slowly? Did they run quickly? Did they um, laugh loudly? Did they laugh quietly? Those types of things. So those words are all going to be um, adverbs. And our examples are going to be loudly and quickly. Okay. And next one we're going to do up here are pronouns. And we know about pronouns, we've used pronouns before, and it, it takes the place of a noun. So it will replace a noun. Okay, 
And those are like he, she, them, they, her. So we have he and them as our examples. Um, so he, she, them, her, um, his, hers, theirs, ours. Those are all um, pronouns. The last one we're going to talk about are prepositions. And we're going to talk about those last because we've already been talking about them. And we know that a prepos preposition relates a noun to the rest of the sentence. So we're going to say relates a noun to the rest of the sentence. And your examples for these are all of those ones, above, below, behind, beneath, on, of, with, without, all of those. So we're going to use um, above and behind. So it's, again, it's, it relates back to that and kind of tells you where it's at on this. So here are your parts of speech. Your next job is to do a Mad Lib. Then I'll have the directions for that, a, a little example of what you should be doing on your um, assignment description. So look for that video if you're not quite sure what to do for Mad Libs. Have fun.